making a splash onto the scene, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity. When this card is Synchro Summon, you can activate an effect that turns off your opponent's ability to activate cards or effects for the rest of the turn. And what's even crazier is that your opponent will not be able to activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. It's as if someone thought it was a good idea to add Dark Will and Amor, Imperial Order, and Royal Decree to the same recipe, and then it grew legs and crawled out of the cauldron to tell the opponent we're gonna skip your turn and there's nothing you can do about it. At first glance, this looks like a pretty broken monster, so you might be wondering why aren't more people playing this card. But there are two reasons why this card doesn't really see much play. The first is that it's really hard to summon. It requires two tuners and one non-tuner Dark Dragon Synchro Monster. And the second is that it's a win effect, so whatever card you use to summon this card has to be the last thing to resolve on the previous chain before this card is summoned or you will miss timing. If you happen to already have this card crafted and you are interested in summoning it, then let's bring out the Calamity with the Big Fish. First, we need to get Coelacanth on the field. We'll normal summon Leaf Fish, sending Shift to the graveyard. Sending Shift to the graveyard isn't necessary. You can still summon Shift from the deck with Coelacanth. We'll need to get another Water Monster on the field. Then we need a Special Summon Coelacanth from the hand. So we can link into Abyss Keeper and use its effect to Special Summon Coelacanth from the hand. We'll discard one card as a cost to activate Coelacan's effect, and then we'll target Leafish, Reptolf and Griefies, Zep, and Paces from the deck. To special summon them to the field, using a level 2 tuner and Leafish, we'll synchro summon into Arian Post to banish a fish from the deck. It can be any fish, but we don't want to banish Snopios just yet. Using a level 2 tuner and Arian Post, we will synchro into a Cell Synchro Stardust. We can activate Arian Post on Chainlink 1 and a Cell Synchro on Chainlink 2. A Cell Synchro will target a level 2 tuner from the graveyard. An Arian Post will banish itself to add Snopios to the hand. Using the shift in the graveyard, we can target Coelacanth, activating Coelacanth's trigger effect to tribute Abyss Keeper, removing it from the field. Now using Reptolf and Griefies and Coelacanth, we can synchro into Ice Shade Jameer. Now we can activate Snopios to banish Griefies and Coelacanth from the graveyard, to special summon Snopios, Snopios will target itself, so when it leaves the field, it will be banished. Then using Snopios in a level 2 tuner, we can synchro into a level 8 Dark Synchro Dragon. Snopios will banish one fish from the graveyard. We'll use it to banish Paces. So now we have both of our tuners banished. Our Dark Synchro Monster is Savage Dragon. We'll equip a Link Monster from the graveyard to give it an Omni Negate. You can then use Leaf Fish to shuffle 3 fish back into the deck, but you want to leave Zep in the graveyard. This is because on the opponent's turn, we want to still be able to banish Zep from the graveyard with Snopios to summon Askan and get rid of any back row the opponent might set. On the opponent's turn, during the draw phase or standby phase, we can activate Ice Shade Jameer, protecting our cards from banishment and card destruction. Then on the standby phase, we'll special summon both of our goatee tuners from the banish zone. During the main phase, when you have an opportunity to activate a card on Chainlink 1, you can activate a Cell Synchro. Your opponent might try to stop you if they have Called by the Grave. Savage Dragon will protect you from that Called by the Grave. Then we'll be able to resolve a Cell Synchro Stardust to summon Stardust Dragon. And now we can Synchro Summon with monsters we control. Using Savage Dragon and our Goatee Tuners, we will Synchro into Archfiend Calamity, then activate its effect. Now the opponent cannot activate cards or effects on the field. This also turns off your opponent's ability to activate spells. You can activate Snopios to banish your tuners from the graveyard and summon Askan or Deep Beyond. 